Didn't see that one coming. It was just getting interesting. Shame we couldn't finish. We'll have to try that again soon. Until then. Don't act so cool, buddy. You're not the only racer out there. I've just got one more thing to look forward to now. They didn't need you to work on a Sunday afternoon? Oh well, I guess you're not that useful after all then, huh? You're so rude. I got up early and worked this morning when they were super busy. Plus, it's been like two weeks since I've had a day off, so they let me go for the afternoon. Oh yeah? Well, I guess that's okay. What'd you come here for anyway? I wasn't expecting you. Huh? Well, I just wanted to see how you were doing, that's all. Mom and Dad have been really worried about you lately. Just tell them I'm doing fine, and that I've been working really, really hard. Is that the truth? Uh-oh, the tank's almost on empty. Better stop and fill her up. <sighs> hey, I know of a gas station nearby. My friend works there. Let's go to that one. <laughs> Just pull her forward! Hey! That's Itsuki. He's the friend of mine I told you about. What can I do for you? 20 liters. High octane. Sure. Man, her brother's a good-looking guy. Hmm. I've seen that 8.6 turbo before. So, my sister tells me you and her are friends. Don't you think she's a little bit too strong-willed? Uh... No, I wouldn't say she's too strong-willed. Enough third degree! Give him a break and don't ask him stupid questions. <laughs> My sister's a good girl, so be nice to her. Can you do that? Of course. Now, I know this is kind of a change of subject, but I've heard that Gunma has one of the fastest 8.6s to run the passes in years. <gasps> From everything that I've heard about him, he's good, as in undefeated good. Now, I know Gunma's a pretty big place and all, but it's worth a shot. So, I was wondering if you might be able to give me any information about this guy? Of course I do! He's like my best friend! Uh, wait, seriously? Oh, yeah. Your name's Itsuki, right? Look, I know we literally just met and everything, but is there any possible way you could set up a meeting with him for me? I sure would appreciate it. <laughs> I'd just really love to pick his brain. You know, we could sit around, talk shop about our 8-6s. 
Sure, I can set that up. He's a bit slow, but he's a really nice guy. You'll like him. Are you free tonight? Because I'm pretty sure he is. Really? No problem. I'll hook you up. I was planning to see him tonight anyway, so this should work out perfectly. Wow, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you for your business! I can't believe your friend actually knows that guy. I mean, talk about a stroke of luck, right? I'm glad you and Itsuki are buddies now. Look, I don't like this. It seems to me like you're only interested in Itsuki's friend instead of Itsuki himself, like you're gonna use him or something. Oh, come on, that isn't true. He seems like a nice enough kid. Then what are you meeting his friend for, huh? There's no real reason. I'm just interested in meeting him, that's all. He must be pretty good to have won all his races. Gunma's a really competitive area. Well, I hope you don't do anything stupid. You know how you are when it comes to street racing. You end up losing your cool over nothing. It's embarrassing. Come on, talk to me, be a pal, please. All I want is for Cosme's brother to like me. That's it. This is like the perfect opportunity for me to score some serious points with her. It may be my only shot. Yeah, okay, I'll be there. But here's the deal. I'm not interested in racing this guy, no matter what. That new engine I've got just isn't good enough. Dude, don't even worry about it. I learned my lesson after the whole fiasco with Takashi and the Night Kids. You're gonna like Kasumi's brother. He's a super nice guy, and I think the two of you are really gonna get along. Three beautiful 8.6s side by side, even though mine's technically an 8.5. Damn, he's young. Hey, you know that 8.6 turbo that filled up this afternoon? I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. It must have been back when I went to see the Red Suns race against Team Emperor. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it had some amazing uphill acceleration. Got me thinking that since her brother's obviously a talented driver with a sweet car, I don't know, he may not be too impressed with Itsuki. Oh, and there you go again, dummy. You know it's not gonna do your social life much good thinking like that. Huh? You don't see Itsuki worrying about such insignificant things. A guy who's clumsy but has a positive attitude has the upper hand on any guy who worries all the time. You're too young to worry. I hear you just got a new engine. Oh, yeah, dude, but get this. It's like a crap ton slower than the old one used to be. Right, Takumi? Mm-hmm. That's why he won't be racing for a little while, at least until he figures out how to squeeze some power out of it. I'm right, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> hmm. Is it just a regular old 4AG or what? Uh, honestly, I don't know all that much about engines. I mean, the power is pretty decent, I guess, but it's really hard to control. So, yeah, whatever kind it is, it's weird. Hmm. Well, would you mind if I took a look at it for myself? Uh, no. Go ahead. The hell is this? Huh? <laughs> this is bizarre. It's like a 4AG engine, but at the same time, it's totally different. If this is some kind of an elaborate joke, I'm sure as hell not laughing. What? Look, guys, I don't know where it is you got this engine from. But telling me it's slow and thinking I won't notice is freaking insulting. Wait, I don't... Why is he so mad? Who knows? I thought since we both drive 8.6s, you'd be straight with me. So what's the problem? Is my cheap turbo not good enough for you? I deserve an explanation, so somebody start talking. Would you just stop it? I knew you were gonna be like this. Stay out of it, Kazumi. This doesn't concern you. I've been around cars for a long time, and I've never seen an engine like this used for street racing. This is an engine designed for the pros. I could save up for years, and I could never even dream of owning an engine like this. Hell, any street racer I know would sell their own mother in a heartbeat to have an engine like that in their ride, myself included. So what? Big deal. 
I don't really care what kind of engine you have, but what I don't get is why you felt the need to lie about it. Why not just admit you're fast? <clears throat> All I came here to do was talk and trade car stories, and you lied right to my face. Hold on, we're not lying to you. Dude, don't be ridiculous. I don't care enough about your opinion to lie to you. Come on, let's get out of here, Itsuki. I've got nothing else to say to this guy. What are you doing? Fine, run away. <gasps> Just know I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh, Takumi's starting to lose it. This is bad news. <laughs> Kazumi? Hotaru, I... Initial D. Initial D. What the hell's the matter with you? Isuki introduced you to his friend out of the kindness of his own heart, so you need to apologize to them right now! Do it! If you're not man enough to say you're sorry, then get out of here and don't ever come back! Oh, she's intense. You jerk! How dare you talk to my friends like that! I'm doing the best I can to make a life for myself in a place where I barely know anyone. And it seems like every time you show up in my life, you ruin it with your childish issues! I understand. Well, I guess I better get going then. Get going too. What? Don't do that, please, man. You can't just leave me here all by myself. Sorry. Good luck. Wait, no. Talk to me. Talk to me. Wait, come back. see that one coming. Guess moving to Gunma wasn't such a bad thing for Kazumi after all. But for me? I'm not so sure. I'm sorry. My brother has a tendency to act like a real jerk when it comes to racing cars. You don't have to apologize. When I saw the look on your faces after he chewed you out, I don't know, I guess something just came over me. My arm moved before I knew what was happening. I have a temper, you can probably tell, but he did deserve it. <gasps> don't worry, I'm not mad or anything. You know, to be honest, I was actually kind of glad when you did it. <laughs> Look, you got upset, but you were only trying to defend us, and I think that's really awesome of you. <laughs> Why did you stop? I wouldn't have chased after you, just in case you were wondering. But seeing that we're both here now, I wouldn't mind picking up right where we left off. All right, you have a problem with me. I get it, okay? But there is one thing I need to know, and I could really use your expertise. I need to know the truth about this engine. I, I need to know if it's really all that you say it is. I can tell it's not a normal engine by the way it looks and feels, but if what you say is really true, that it has enough power to be worthy of the professionals, then I want to know why I can't reach that power. I don't know engines. You do, and I really need some advice. Sorry, man, but I'm having a hard time believing you. How can a racer not know every single inch of his own car like the back of his hand? If you don't know anything about it, where the hell did you get it from, anyway? Technically, this is my dad's car. He's the one who bought the engine, not me. I don't know anything he doesn't want to tell me, and that's a lot. I guess your dad must have a job in the racing industry if he was able to get his hands on a block this advanced. No, he owns a tofu shop. 
How can a guy making tofu get a professional quality engine? It's not something you just up and buy from the store on a weekend. You know what? Fine. You should be getting plenty of power out of it, so I'm just as curious as you are. Do you mind driving me around for a little while so I can take a listen? It's the only way I can get a good feeling for it. So, what's the big plan? Have one? Hmm. Well, I figured it'd take at least a few weeks to a month for him to figure it out on his own. The boys had more than enough practice with it. Those parts you ordered arrived at my shop just the other day. Don't you think we should install them? I don't know about that yet. I was hoping to hold off on those until I got some sort of reaction from Takumi. Huh? Uh, it's good he's trying to compensate with his technique rather than going for some easy fix. But to be perfectly honest, I figured he would have noticed by now. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Something's off. The shifting seems to be stalling out the acceleration. It has plenty of power when he reaches the rev limit. But every time he upshifts, he loses a lot of torque. This engine must be defective. It's a dud. There's no comparing it to my turbo. But why? This can't be its full potential. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? Again? Why? Of course, now I get it. It's so simple. Well, good news. I can tell you why you aren't getting very much power. The problem's pretty simple, and you should be able to fix it yourself. Uh -huh. There, you see that? The issue is with your tachometer. Tachometer? It's no good. Not for that engine. It doesn't go high enough. This is an engine that generates its most power at very high RPM, which is why they call it a high-rev engine. Professional, naturally aspirated engines are all like this. That's why pros use them exclusively. You know how you're getting a surge of power right before you shift? You're not revving it high enough. That red line's a couple thousand revs short. I'm pretty sure you've only been pushing it to around 70% of its full capacity. If I had to guess what this engine's capable of, I'd say at least 10,000 RPMs easy, if not more than that. A tachometer that only reads up to 8,000 is crippling your car's ability because you're not even coming close to the sweet spot. This puppy's a certified beast compared to the 8.6's stock engine. It's called a 4AG, but it actually has a 5-valve head that was adapted from the newer 101 series they just released. There's supposed to be a VVT device that switches the valve timing at both lower and higher RPMs. The fact that yours doesn't have one can only mean one thing, that this baby is in a whole other class, called a super high rev engine. While we were driving, I couldn't help but notice something else I thought was worth mentioning. The instrument panel you have is not only cheap, it's missing some important readouts you'll definitely need. At the very least, you'll want the water temp and oil pressure gauges. Whoever it was that did the installation on this engine has an impeccable knowledge of advanced auto mechanics. Both the tires and the brakes are perfectly balanced. Same goes for the body. It makes you wonder, why would the installer want to leave out essential gauges? And there's only one answer I can think of. I can't tell you why, but this engine's true power has been sealed off on purpose. Sealed off on purpose? It's a pretty reliable, albeit simple, way of doing it. Without a proper tachometer, a good driver would never make the mistake of over-revving, which eliminates the possibility you'll burn it out by going past the red zone. In all my years of being into cars, I've always felt a kinship with other 8.6 drivers, but never once have I felt any hostility. Well, I'm not sure I can say that anymore. All I can say is I really want to be the one to beat you. It doesn't matter what you're hiding under your hood. The fact is you're lacking the basic elements any racer worth his salt should have. 
We'll settle this feud soon enough, and when we do, you'll never be able to brag about being undefeated again. does that mean? Lacking the basic elements? I think I'm in shock. I actually got scared back there. I've never seen anything like the way he entered those corners. I'm showing my age. It's obvious his body can handle a heck of a lot more stress than mine can. He may be ignorant when it comes to cars, but his technique is amazing. It doesn't make any sense. If I lose to him, the reputation I've worked so hard for will be shot. My entire existence depends on this challenge. Challenge Takumi, and the big race is about to start. Next, on Initial D, second stage. The seal is broken. Don't miss it. 